Hey guys, Sean Baker here. Today's episode of Routes of Air Truck. Today we'll be talking about the Sunset Women, the oldest route in the system. We'll talk about what, how it started, and what the future, um, as well as could possibly happen. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> Sir Pacific was founded in 1865, the same year when the Transcontinental Railroad Plan was announced, um, which um, it would be a rebrand of Central Pacific, which they would have acquired back in 1861. After the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad in 1869, they were renamed to Southern Pacific as they, they acquired Central Pacific in 1881 and as they built a route from San Francisco to, to San Diego, California. So after they acquired Central Pacific in 1885, they built a route that would stretch from Los Angeles to New Orleans, Louisiana called the Sunset Limit. It was the only long distance train in possibly America that did not use any coach car service, instead a sleeper car service mostly the entire time when it operated under the SP Star Pacific Railroad. Then diesel started popping up on the SP property such as the F7s, the F3s as well as the E8s, but as well as they replaced the heavy weights with streamline cars by the Buck Company, but it, as well as they made a tr travel time quicker, as well as cutting the route between San Francisco and Los Angeles during the year when U.S. entered World War II in 1942. In 19, late 1950s, rail travel would begin to decline due to the rise of competition, airlines, and roads, as well as um. It caused a downfall. When Amtrak took over servers on May 1st, 1971, they retained the Sunset with the same name. They never rechanged it or anything. So, they would um, continue with the name. The first, the train was used in these equipment that was, as well as the high wells that were outdated. So, in what they first got the EMD STP 4F locomotives, which as well as the GEP Furry H's, which they were kind of problematic and stuff, as well as the mix with, and then they got the F40 PHs, in which they would bear suit with the hand power. They would use high levels until 1979 when Superliner started entering service, which along the routes west of Chicago. But these cars would fail on this despite their needs and stuff. They're both double-decker cars. So, and in October 2nd, 1981, the Texas Eagle, which ran around between Chicago to San Antonio, which they would merge with these, where they would both combine trains. Like, one would um, of the Texas Eagle is a more daily train, well, the Sunset was a tri-weekly train, unlike the others in the system. The Sunset Way only operated three times per week, unlike the Texas Eagle, which was daily, and they would also meet in the chopper and bring the train to Los Angeles and stuff. And then, so, they've been like this since then. Then, um, and also, there would be a disaster collision took place. So, in 1993, the Sunset would be extended from New Orleans all the way to Miami, Florida. They started receiving P40 DCs and the AO 103, the Marcot diesel, which it wouldn't be until Sunset would train number two, which was going through Mobile, Alabama. Alabama, when the tugboat was lost in the fog, hit a barge at Big Bang Cam Bridge, um, which caused a bend on the track, which made it too dangerous for a train to go across, especially at high speeds. 
the sunset wave was going almost 70 miles per hour when it crashed into a sneaky crocodile alligator wafer. About 47 people died in the crash, becoming the worst Amtrak train crash in the history, being out the Chelsea, Maryland in 1987, with they described the scene as like a river on fire. The bridge was repaired a few days later, and so they would continue operating. That was the number one event that changed the, the radars of tugboats. The person who was responsible would never drive a tugboat after this, which he would die in 2013, just about 30 years after that incident. And on October 9th, 1955, another derailment took place, but this time in Arizona, when Sunset Wheel train number one with ha a sabotage on the bridge or something, which after that incident, it remains a mystery. No cause has been revealed. So on June 2nd, 1996, the Sunset Wheel was rerouted away from to uh, Phoenix, Arizona to serve Tucson, um, Arizona, in Young's, Arizona. Then the route was coming from Miami, despite surf along with the Silver Mirror train all the way to Orlando, then Stanford in 1996. But it was rerouted again to um, Orlando after some cop problems. And then August 19, 2005, Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, which caused it to. Um, beyond her hey is from New Orleans and once after when in October 2005 the route would reopen to New Orleans which it won't happen seeing a continue surface east of New Orleans which hasn't been despite even despite of January 2006 which um, it so yeah so it has not resumed east then, well, and also, it was also for a while, a, and also when the COVID-19 pandemic took place, the train such a way would still be tri-weekly along the Cardinal, which has been before COVID, and the Texas Eagle would also kind of go under haze um, between October 2020 and May f um, 1, 2021. Then the Sunset Women would also become known as one of the worst um, on time percentage routes due to the um, poor on time performance, especially by Union Pacific, which would merge from Southern Pacific in 1996. As of right now, they as of now they haven't made the train fully continue to or. When, so it wasn't until um, 2016 when Amtrak would do a test train where they would run the train between New Orleans, Louisiana and to Jacksonville for it to test the condition to see if the track is okay if they were to build a new route or that same route back in service. Which as of um, um, 2021 Amtrak would announce a route that were run between New Orleans, Louisiana, and Mobile, Alabama, the first time they would have a service since Katrina. This route would be expected to be in service just in time for the Super Bowl of this year, possibly even. As of now, they are also making some plans to make this route um, also, this time, be a daily train on one of the Cardinal just to make this fair and stuff. As well as they issue some talks with Union Pacific to try and not make this game worse and stuff. Which, um, the train will always use superliners, which it wouldn't be until possibly 2024 when Amtrak decides to make some plans to replace their superliners that have been serviced since 1979. And with a newer double decker car that could be used in the same consists and stuff, it would use a mix of P40 DCs, P42s, along with the dash each. With newer equipment from Siemens, with the new AOC 42s are now speculated to replace them both on the 
um, since it went in the Texas Eagle. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, stay tuned for next time when I discuss the Silver Star Inns tribute as well as we discussed the week show. Thanks for watching. Have a fine day.